Well, hello everyone. My name is Susan Miller from Susan Miller Artworks. These are the colors that we are working with today. I will put all of them down into the description below. We are working on a 12 by 24 gallery wrapped canvas from Artist Loft. And I'm not sure yet what I'm going to be doing, but with this luscious color palette, it's going to be nice. Be back in a bit. All right. So what I've decided to do is to use this narrow um, spout um, jug that I've got. And I need about 15 ounces of paint. So I've marked that here on the milliliters. I'm going to pour from the side and then pour out like uh, normal. So um, I'm going to speed us up while we do that and I'll be back in a minute. Thank you. All right, so we've layered our cup. I think I'm going to do a wandering straight pour on this one. Go. I don't know where I'm going with this, but we shall see what we end up with. Thank you. 
Wow. That looks pretty cool. Now I'm going to throw some flow extender on. Wondering why I don't use gloves. I can't stand having gloves on my hands. So therefore, no gloves. torch so that we pop any of our air bubbles corner first. So I the whole thing is not in frame. My paints are just a hair too thin, but I'm not unhappy with it. I'll let it sit here a minute. And see what I can touch up my edges first. All right, so let's take you in for a close-up. I am loving this line right there. Just so happy with the way all of this turned out, despite the fact that I think my paints were just a little too thin. 
as you can see there, just a little more blending than I would have liked, but I can live with that. And just absolutely beautiful. Having a clue what I'm going to call this one yet, but it sure is pretty. Love that seafoam green color. All right, well, thank you for tuning in. I will show you when it's all dry. So, in trying to protect this, I actually damaged it. I'm not sure if you can see what I did over here. But I tried to get some mosquito netting over top of it, and then I messed it up. Tried to blow it out to see if that would work. Actually kind of is a cool effect, so I may actually get some mosquito netting to lay over some other paintings. But I didn't want it on this one. You can see there. Kind of looks like fish scales, which is kind of cool. So maybe a uh, mermaid. Sorry about that. Um, maybe a mermaid um, painting. So we're going to uh, paint over this one and we'll try again.
Let's take a close-up of this now that we've reworked this canvas. You can still see some of the lines from the previous painting in between. Kind of looks like waves. Kind of looks like a beach. with this. Hopefully I won't damage this one. I really like that area right there. So thanks for joining me. Definitely appreciate it. And uh, I'll show it to you when it's dry. Have a good one. All right, so here is the dried result of my re-pour. I am so happy with the way that this has turned out. Let's take you in for a close-up. I'll start down here at the bottom. And I just love this corner, how those lines are still visible and yet have softly blended. Just amazing. And the way I re-poured this, I poured it so that the previous pour was still visible through, and that is what has created these amazing lines. Through the pour. And I love this, the aqua green going through that one. And then this lovely little area here. I've got one cell in the middle of it, but it's okay. But I love how it has blended into the phthalo blue. Really, really pretty. So there you have it.
have it. Very, very happy with the way this turned out. I'm kind of glad I screwed up the other one <laughs> because I like this one so much better. Thank you to everyone who has viewed, liked, and subscribed my video. We look forward to the next video coming out. You have an amazing day. Take care now.